In Super Mario Odyssey, there is an online minigame called Luigi's Balloon World, which is unlocked after beating the final boss and completing the game. In Luigi's Balloon World, players can hide a balloon in nearly any of the game's 17 kingdoms for other players online to find and pop. Luigi rewards the players with coins when someone tries to find a balloon that they hid. There is a set timer of 30 seconds to hide your balloon, and once someone pops it, it disappears from the list of available balloons and you have to re-hide it. This game is quite fun to play. I love trying to find unique and difficult hiding places, and it has quickly become one of my favorite Mario Odyssey challenges. But then I got to thinking, can you hide a balloon that is impossible, or at least incredibly difficult, to pop? Luigi's Balloon World operates on a system of trust, that if the hider could get to a spot, then the finder should be able to get there also. It is like Super Mario Maker's online levels, where the creator has to clear the level before they are able to upload it. This is actually a really effective method at keeping the game fair. The game also is heavily stacked in the Seeker's favor, because the Seeker gets more time to find the balloon than the hider gets to hide it. The Seeker is also able to throw their cap to pop a balloon, whereas the hider has the balloon placed exactly where they are standing. To prevent people from jumping off the map as far as they can go and then placing the balloon in a really annoying spot, the hider has to be touching the ground to place the balloon, but the finder can do whatever jumps they want to do and can pop balloons while in the air. This makes it really hard to create an impossible to pop balloon. You might be thinking, why not just clip inside a wall and hide your balloon there? This is actually a reasonably good way to keep a balloon on the listing for a good while and make quite a lot of coins, but eventually someone always comes along who knows how to perform the clip, and the balloon gets popped. My idea for hiding an impossible balloon involves the letters in the Metro Kingdom. The letters are capturable and are usually used to get a power moon after spelling out Mario in the town square. This is a pretty simple challenge and doesn't look like anything special, but these letters are actually extremely glitchy. Normally, the letters are confined to the small area around where the puzzle takes place by invisible boundaries, but if you use a glitch that takes advantage of the scooter's weird hitbox, you can push the letter outside of the boundary and explore Metro Kingdom. There are a few uses for this, such as cheesing the jump rope minigame or clipping inside of buildings, but how does this help us hide an impossible balloon? Once outside of their boundaries, the letters have an additional exploit that allows you to move at insane speeds and get incredibly far away from the main New Donk City Island. This is called the Letter Hyperspeed Glitch. If I could use this glitch to get far enough away from the main island and place a balloon, then it might just work. But what if someone used the same letter glitch that I used? Well, there's a problem with that. It gets harder to aim for something that is farther away. You would have to have an incredibly precise angle of launch to reach the balloon, and you aren't really even able to control the direction of the launch well anyways, so I figure that this is as good as impossible. You might be thinking, don't you have to be touching the ground for the game to let you place a balloon? Yes, but when you speed off the side of the island, you are still in the letter capture. If I could get far enough away, uncapture the letter, and stand on it while it was in the air, the game might register the letter as ground and allow me to place the balloon. I got to Metro Kingdom, hopes high, started Balloon World, rounded the corner, and they weren't there. The letters were missing. This is because Luigi's Balloon World takes place in a stripped-down version of the kingdom that you are playing in. After failing this, I just jumped absent-mindedly around in Luigi's Balloon World, trying to think of something else that could work. While I was doing this, something interesting happened. I was jumping on a taxi, and while I was in the air, the timer hit zero and this text box popped up. You can't place the balloon there, so we'll put it as close to that spot as we can. If Luigi puts the balloon on the nearest spot of ground to where you are at the end of the hiding game, then I can trick the balloon into going somewhere it isn't supposed to go. My idea involved the platform with the painting coming from Sand Kingdom. If I could jump off the Odyssey starting platform and get close enough to the painting island, then the game might just place the balloon there. And as far as I know, it is impossible to go from the main island to the painting island without warping to a checkpoint. And since checkpoints are disabled while in Luigi's Balloon World, the spot would be impossible for any potential hiders to reach. 
After trying and failing to get the balloon to glitch onto the island, I wondered whether instead of the balloon going to the closest spot of ground, it just stayed at wherever you were last touching the ground. I did a quick test in Sand Kingdom with Glidon, and it seems like that is the case. Now I need to come up with another idea. I managed to hide a balloon in midair in Wooded Kingdom using a glitch with the leaf path, but you can just do some pretty easy jumps to pop it, and it is by no means impossible. I also got these Koopas in Luncheon to T-Pose, which was pretty cool, but no matter what I tried, it didn't work. Then I had one last idea. The Sinking Sand in Sand Kingdom. The Sinking Sand is a minor obstacle. You sink into the sand until you are completely covered, and then you lose a life. But if I manage to sink into the sand just enough and then place a balloon, the balloon might be completely covered and unpoppable. But when I tried it, the top of the balloon was barely peeking out. That won't work. Now I am completely out of ideas, and it looks like the closest thing we can get to an impossible balloon is using out of bounds clips. It seems sad, but quite honestly, it's for the best. If I found a way to make a completely impossible to pop balloon, everyone would try it, and you wouldn't be able to play Luigi's Balloon World without getting flooded with impossible balloons. It was a fun challenge, though. If you have any ideas for what else I could try, I'd love to hear them, so leave a comment if you want. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, because I'm a channel that is trying to grow, and likes help get this video recommended to more people. I will try to make similar content to this in the future, and you will most likely only see my videos again if you are subscribed. Thank you, and have a nice day.